hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bridget adaze and i discuss trending topics i do book reviews and i do story time and i do vlogs as well so if this is the kind of content you would like to you know be seen on this channel do well to subscribe and feel free to let me know in the comment section what topics you would like us to, to discuss about happy new year everyone i first off let me apologize for running away for like two months it wasn't intended i intend you know stepping up the youtube game i intend reintroducing some gadgets to film and you know improve on my um general youtube outlook so i've been working on some things that's why i have not been filming but i got to realize that i just might no wait till everything is perfect before i you know do what i need to do so you guys pardon me for that break in transmission i'm here now and i intend to be more consistent moving forward for my very few subscribers <laughs> i want to use this medium to wish you all a happy new year and of course my intending subscribers to happy new year everyone happy new year to you guys thank you for staying with me thank you for choosing to walk this youtube journey with me i i honestly appreciate um the fact that you guys don't know where i'm heading to but you've decided to be with me on this journey i really appreciate that and i'm thankful that you guys decide to subscribe to my channel i don't know where this channel is taking me to but i know we're heading somewhere and i want you all to accompany me on that journey yes if you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed to my channel please do well to hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free you're not paying for it and it's very fast easy and stress-free just hit the subscribe button if you hit the subscribe button here's what we stand to gain so guys here is this thing when you subscribe to my channel it's a win-win situation first off you get to help me grow my channel you help me you encourage me by subscribing and of course when i push out content you get to see them first and get all the juice all the interesting you know topics we get to discuss on this channel you get to get it firsthand so it's a win-win situation so do well to encourage me by subscribing and as well sharing liking my videos and also leaving your comments in the comment section so this video is basically to you know officially welcome you guys back to a new year we have a lot of pla i have a lot of plans for the year planned ahead I hope to be more consistent weekly videos you guys are going to be getting weekly videos from me and we have a target guys to you know grow this channel to hit that 1k subscribers before the end of the year so you guys yes so let's let's do this you encourage me and i'll put in the work so that we'll get there okay okay all right having said that i have something at the back of my mind why you know before coming on here you guys there's this trending video there's this thing that has been going on online a lot of young teenagers have been you know getting themselves in ritual killings and you know doing all whatnot for the sake of money it is disturbing it is alarming when i saw the pictures of those teenagers that beheaded their girlfriend for ritual i was i was i was perplexed i was i was in fact i didn't i don't even know what word to use i was set aback i was honestly i was seriously furious i was angry how what led to that how did we get to this point where people no longer care about their fellow human being how do they get to this point where life doesn't matter when it comes to money like 
people know they, people no longer care and to think of the fact that these are young boys these are teenagers doing this shit it's very very disturbing it goes to show where we are at as a community and as a people like it is very very disturbing i could remember back in the day the people that get themselves involved in this kind of ritual killings they were usually you know old ugly bearded you know in scary looking men they used to be the ones that get themselves involved in this kind of ritual claim there are people that even if you see them you wouldn't want to go close to them because i mean who is this ugly looking person trying to get my attention because by the time you see them on the road the first thing that comes to your mind is bego i don't want to be used for sacrifice this one that is looking like this you get but now these are innocent looking young guys that could do anything and be anything they want to become in the future these are the people that are getting themselves in this kind of mess it is disturbing it might not be you you might not be the victim but then what about our friends our neighbors and the future of our kids if not for anything i fear for the generation yet unborn what are they coming into the world to meet what kind of values are they coming into the world to meet why have we as a community and as a people put money before lives why have we placed so much value on money as opposed to human beings where did we lose the focus where did we lose it at what point did we stop being human and start behaving like animals because literally we are living like this is like an animal kingdom anybody can kill anybody just to make money truth be told you might choose to care less about this whole thing you might choose to not be bothered about the situation on ground or you might even say that it doesn't affect you but Yes, you're not the victim. What about your neighbors? What about your friends? If not for anything, the generation yet unborn, what are they coming into this world to meet? What kind of values are we leaving behind for them? Because if we don't lend our voices to these things, it becomes normal. And eventually it becomes too, too difficult to eradicate. So we have to lend our voices. We can't afford to be silent when situations like this arise. And that is one of the major reasons why I've decided to start my own channel. This is my own little way of saying, okay, I might not have all the money to change the world, but I have a voice and I can actually say no to certain things. By saying no to certain things, it just might encourage just one person to get it right. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm going to be here for the long run. So you guys, I, I found that very disturbing and I've decided to talk about it. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing this. So I want to know what you think. Let's share in the comment section. A lot of persons has, you know asked for my own opinion about this thing and i've had several whatsapp conversations with different friends of mine as regards it so we need to start now and start getting it right we need to be right on our values or else don't be surprised in the future when people start eating up their fellow human being we are not animals that is why we are human beings we have to learn to live as such it's not and I wouldn't even lie, those are our celebrities or celebrities that goes online to show off wealth. I mean, that behavior <laughs> should be, I, I don't want to say it should be abolished because that same thing that is causing some other person to get themselves into a bad, ugly situation, to get themselves into crime, has also prepared some other persons to work hard to get it right legitimately without having to resort to crime and all whatnot 
so i wouldn't want to say that behavior should be abolished but it has it should be it should be censored it should be done in such a way that it protects those that don't have um those that don't have we are not all equal here yeah? there are some persons that can take that kind of pressure and there are some persons that they can't take that kind of um, pressure so if you want to show off what you should do it with a little consideration to those people with weak minds hey, that's the right word i'm looking for yes you should do it with consideration with people that they can't take it their hearts are too weak to contain the fact that you've actually worked so you've actually worked to get to where you are at not everybody can take it so we need to do things with a lot of consideration we need to do things with the strong and the weak in mind so that we don't so everybody is carried along and we don't you know we don't end up in i don't know i don't know if you've heard of this um there's this story i read about the cobra effect trying to solve a problem and you know creating a bigger problem i don't know if i'm making sense my point is let whatever it is that you want to do do it with moderation do it with consideration because there are different kind of persons who are what who might see it and they might read a different meaning to it yeah so that's it for this video i don't want this video to be too long i just want to share my two cents about that situation and yeah so guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next one bye